Hi, this is Dean Iverson, and I'm going to show you how to get started writing JavaFX applications in Griffin. Griffin is a desktop application development framework uh, that is very similar to Rails and Grails, of course. Um, it was meant originally for developing client Java applications in Swing or SWT, but now, uh, with the plugins I've been working on, you can also uh, develop JavaFX 2.0 applications using Griffin. So to do that, uh, you'll need two things first. First, you'll need the latest version of Griffin, which is 0.9.3, and you can download that from griffin.codehouse.org. And then, of course, the other thing you're going to need is a copy of the latest JavaFX 2.0 SDK or runtime. You can download that from javafx.com. Um, if you are working on Windows, either the recently released Build 40 or a uh, little slightly older build 38 will still actually work for writing uh, GroovyFX and Griffin JavaFX applications. Once you have both of those downloaded and installed, you will be able to just type in the Griffin command and verify that Griffin 0.9.3 is installed. And then the other thing you'll need to do before you start is to set up a Java JavaFX home environment variable that points to the location of the beta SDK. Um, once you have those, uh, the JavaFX script plugins will be able to compile and run. So let's start out here. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do once all that, all the prerequisites are taken care of, is to go to deanriverson.github.com slash griven dash JavaFX dash archetype and you'll see this little page come up and it gives you the three steps you need to perform to get started. Uh, the first is to download the JavaFX Griffin archetype. Uh, the second is to use Griffin to install it on your system. And then once you've got that done, you can start creating applications using the archetype. So let's download it. It's a really fast download. Uh, let's make a directory to hold it. Uh, try it again. All right, so we will move the archetype we just downloaded into this directory, and then we will ask Griffin to install it for us. Now Griffin will go away and install that uh, archetype onto your system. If you already have one, it will ask if you want to overwrite it, and that's fine. Uh, so. Now that we've got the archetype installed, all we have to do is ask Griffin to create a new application for us. I uh, will call create app, and we will name our new application HelloFX. And this is the most important part. You've got to specify the archetype of JavaFX in order to actually create the JavaFX application. Now Griffin will go away and it will create a new directory to hold your project. It will set up the project file structure and it will download and install uh, the JavaFX plugins. Uh, it actually did it quicker than I could explain it. So let's change into our new project directory and we'll use TextMate to view the project layout real briefly here. Normally I'm an IntelliJ IDEA guy but we'll use TextMate just to be quick. Alright, so you can see here that uh, the archetype asks for the JavaFX plugin to be installed. And since the JavaFX plugin depends on the GroovyFX plugin, that will get pulled in for you automatically, thanks to Griffin's uh, awesome dependency management uh, functionality. Uh, the reasoning behind having two plugins here is that uh, you can install the GroovyFX plugin separately uh, into your existing Griffin Swing application and therefore integrate JavaFX uh, code with a legacy Griffin Swing application. At least that's the theory. Uh, it doesn't quite work yet. I hope to have that working very soon. So don't try it right now. You will just be terribly disappointed, I'm afraid. Um, now, the one thing about using the JavaFX archetype is that it creates a fully functional JavaFX application for you. So without even doing anything else, you can go in here and ask Griffin to run the application for you. And it will go ahead and compile uh, your source files and set up your runtime directories and then actually run the application which will there it is all right 
So that is our default Griffin JavaFX application. Just lets you know that everything is installed and working correctly. Let's take a quick look at what that gets us. So we'll go inside the Griffin app directory. First thing we'll look at is the configuration file. So the application file, this is how um, Griffin knows to start up and display that JavaFX hello message. It creates, the archetype creates a default model view controller group for you here and sets it as the startup. So that's all there is to it, pretty simple. The view is where the interesting stuff is done. So the code in this view is GroovyFX code. Um, GroovyFX is a project that was started by Jim Clark and I jumped on board a couple months ago and we've been developing it ever since. The goal is to combine the conciseness of Groovy with the graphical power of JavaFX 2.0. Um, if you're developing JavaFX programs in Java, there can be a lot of uh, get set ceremony involved and you know a lot of boilerplate involved with handling properties. So we're trying to eliminate as much of that as we can and uh, whittle it down to just the bare essentials of writing your applications, eliminating all the boilerplate, trying to make it fun and easy to write JavaFX applications. So the first thing a JavaFX application needs is a stage. This is uh, basically just like a window or a frame in other toolkits. We give it a title to display in the title bar that the archetype fills in for us based on the application name. We tell it to be visible and center itself on the screen. Uh, the next thing you need for your stage is a scene. So we fill ours with black and we give it a width and height of 400 by 300. And we can actually see that if we bring a, the default application back here. Um, the content of the scene is simply an HBox, which is a layout node that aligns its children horizontally. The layout node has a padding of 80 pixels all the way around it and it contains two text nodes. One that says Java uh, in an 80 point sensory font with a orangish gradient and the other that's uh, right next to it is says FX in that same font with a blue gradient and a drop shadow uh, that's blue as well giving us our nifty little glowing effect so that's all there is to it it's not uh, terribly complicated but it just shows that it's very easy to write interesting looking programs uh, in JavaFX especially if you're using GroovyFX